Kickoff for NFL Week 7 is closing in and covers has Tom the Hitman back with us here to help us out get ahead of the action here for the football weekend. Tom, we have a classic NFC North rivalry, Ravens versus Browns. What do you like in this game? Well, I like Nick Chubb over 71 and a half rush yards. And just think about Nick Chubb's lines this season. I mean, the past few weeks, he was in the mid to high 80s every single week. Obviously, not a great game against New England. They were down on the scoreboard from the beginning. I mean, there's a chance. that The reason this is so low is because they are six and a half point underdogs. So the market's saying, hey, Cleveland might fall behind in this game, which obviously would hurt running back production. But, you know, Baltimore, they – to get margin, they have a lot of guys injured right now. They have Rashad Bateman injured. Mark Andrews, not 100%. J.K. Dobbins, not 100%. So I'm not just going to say that Baltimore is going to win by margin and take Chubb off the field for this mm -hmm. game. And you look at this matchup, Baltimore is 19th in yards per carry allowed to opposing running back. So it's not like they're we have a Browns team that's playing an elite run defense. You look at Chubb's history against this number, 71 and a half rush yards this season, five and one to the over the last two seasons. He's 14, and six to the over last three seasons. We'll go back to when Kevin Stefanski took over for the Browns. He's 23 and 11 to this over. So obviously the number is lower because of the game flow potential that could go against us. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that the number is, has probably just been adjusted a little bit too far from what his earlier numbers were this season. Yeah, how much is this bet kind of hinging on the Cleveland defense keeping an explosive uh, Baltimore offense, especially in those first half side for third and first half points per game so far? How much of it is hinging on that Cleveland defense keeping them within striking distance and limiting them in the first 30 minutes so that Chubb can continue to get carries rather than them have to be forced to pass the ball like oh, they were last oh, week. Oh, for sure. Lima. It's huge. And that's why we're getting such a discount, as I said. But it's an, I just think that to give – there's always a price that you're willing to bet on a player, whether mm -hmm. it's over or the under. If Nick Chubb was lined like he was the past few weeks at 89 rush yards – I'd be on here saying, you know, I love Nick Chubb under. The game flow could go against him and everything. But with an 18 or so yard adjustment from some previous weeks, mm -hmm. I think that the market is just over accounting for this game flow. I probably would have put Chubb's number in maybe the 77, 78 range. All right. And he's a guy that could get probably a third of that total off one run. We've seen some explosive runs from the Browns running back so far this season. So, the hitman likes Nick Chubb over 71 and a half rushing yards in this big battle in the AFC North. 